we look for the smartest, the best, and also most committed graduates, undergraduates, masters, but young professionals to be the future leaders to try to help us make a safer planet. That's the key on committing themselves and exploring being a peace and security thinker, writer, advocate, journalist. The Scoville Fellowship is a platform that enables young scholars in DC to publish on issues that they're researching. It helps you find your voice and then gives you a platform for speaking out even louder. The Scoville Fellowship gives you $1,000 to use in professional development. I spent 10 days in Israel interviewing 18 security experts. Some of them were former government officials, some of them were in think tanks. I'll go to Vietnam and meet with a number of government officials in the Ministry of Security, uh, Ministry of Telecommunications, um, that have to do with cybersecurity in the Asia Pacific specifically. If you want to pursue research, you can. If you want to turn it into a, a government career, you can. The flexibility of the Scoville Fellowship is, I think, a hallmark of the program itself. The relationship that a supervisor develops with the Scoville Fellow is one of great responsibility and allows them to come up with innovative solutions to big, grand challenges of our time. It's an external voice helping you find opportunities to grow and providing another outlet to give you advice, to help you network. I remember when it was this alliance of nonprofit organizations, many of which are Scoville partner organizations, on the call being addressed by the President of the United States about the Iran deal. And that was like an incredible moment where it was like you are a part of this, this network of organizations that is working directly with the U.S. government to create a more stable world. There's a huge alumni base and group of supporters around them. Being able to have a seat at the table, meeting people from state and defense and energy and the think tank community and Capitol Hill and seeing how they all interacted and doing so with the Scoville Fellowship name behind you was just a tremendous opportunity. Because of the networking and mentorship opportunities and write and publish under my own name, that helped me gain exposure to a number of policy experts. What it's actually allowed me to do is connect with a whole community of individuals who are committed to nonproliferation and to arms control and also a wider community that's interested in security issues more broadly. You get truly extraordinary access to national security and leaders in Washington. Scoville Fellows get to meet peers and as important individuals who are one and two generations in the field who can provide tremendous mentorship and support. There is a responsibility on our part to engage with and, and to bring these academics into the field in a way that is really a launch pad to their enduring careers. The fellowship has prepared me for the next step in my career by allowing me to establish myself here in DC as a respected member of the community. One of the best things about Scoville Fellows is they bring fresh energy, ideas, creativity to our field. And then they are able to be launched in careers in peace and security. It's not easy to get started. The Scoville Fellows have a leg up and then they're on their way to being leaders for a new generation.